Okay. I'm gonna take a deep breath. Because <sighs> we're about to do a live video. <sighs> Breathing deep. Oh, we're on. <laughs> so, two things that help my body de-stress is hanging upside down. It rushes all the blood to my head and then taking deep breaths. <sighs> How many people have ever made a live video? What about that little heart bump before it goes live and you're starting to see everybody join? Hi Jennifer, hi Tracy, hi Julie, thank you for joining. <laughs> But it's scary, and I'm here to talk to you about stress today. Stress that we don't even identify in our lives. And hey, Rebecca, <laughs> and that stress, it, it causes us to have love handles. And that's my problem. My problem, it's, it's always all about the love handles, okay? And um, I can eat really well, and I've put myself through the gamut before on how well I eat but there's still that stickler sometimes on the love handles or for women, the hips. And it's a telltale sign about cortisol levels, cortisol levels rising up. And sometimes as much as we work out and as much as we eat, we have got to learn to combat stress levels. And I'm gonna do a series on this because it's November and there are stressors happening all around us getting ready for the holidays that we don't even realize, right? So today, um, I have been reading an excellent book by Joyce Meyer called Overload. Who knew that lady knew so much about my love handles? Maybe she doesn't equate it, but I sure do. And I wanna share with you um, just some things about what stress is and what it's triggering. And then in our next video we're gonna make, I'm gonna tell you about things that you're stressing about that you don't realize you're stressing about and how your body is reacting, okay? So stress in its most basic form is a type of panic. It's a jolt to our nervous system. It's like when I hit that live button, I'm like, whoo, okay, here we go. It's our perceived, um, it's our perceived thought, our emotions about the perception that's happening. So one way we can combat that is serious mental training on how we perceive things. And that's a discipline. And that's something we have to slow down, stop and think about the way we're looking at situations, right? Okay, so every situation, every stressful situation brought to us, our mind does the same effect. It, it censors it as, is this a real crisis? So the stressor, whatever it is, it causes an impulse to be sent to the brain. The brain combines emotions with reasoning. And this process causes the person reacting to the stressor to analyze the situation. If you perceive it as threatening, then your body engages in what we know as the flight or fight mode, all right? And we can't even help it. It's just how our brain, our cognition is working. The nervous, the nervous system, it responds in three ways. First, it directly stimulates certain body systems, the heart, the muscles, and the respiratory system. That's why some of you, can struggle literally with anxiety attacks where you can get short of breath, you can start shaking, your blood pressure literally starts rising. Some people think people are making up anxiety attacks. No, stress can literally cause your body to do that. That is a fight or flight response. And some people get triggered more easily than others and that's something that I think um, having your quiet times come in or you know, um, training your perceptions to be different, um, giving away, exchanging those stresses for new thoughts, new outlets, and we'll work on that in more video series. But secondly, it signals to the adrenaline medulla, a part of the adrenaline gland to release the hormone adrenaline, which alerts and prepares the body to take action. This reaction begins half a minute 
after the first, but it lasts 10 times as long. So you start losing the shortness of breath, things start happening with your muscles, but then you start releasing the adrenaline. And the third thing that happens in the nervous system is it stimulates the hypothalamus in the brain to release a chemical that stimulates the pituitary gland. And this, the pituitary gland releases the hormone that the adrenaline gland, gr- the adrenaline glands to continue to release adrenaline and see I wrote this down because it's crazy but here's the point it starts releasing cortisol all right and that everybody knows the word cortisol and how it can be a very negative thing if we're constantly increasing it in our body so every time that we become excited stimulated or upset even though we may not realize it Our entire system is gearing up for fight or flight to defend itself from the perceived threat or dangerous situation. And it is absolutely amazing how many things happen in, you know, a a parent feeling like they're losing control over the kid during that situation. In our marriages, thinking we can never change them or in our finances thinking everything is starting to cave in and oh my gosh am i going to am i going to hit the money this month am i going to be able to afford the christmas presents and everything i have to buy for everyone am i going to lose my figure am i going to lose control of my nutrition am i going to put on another 15 pounds this year and undo all the hard work i've been working on Um, family situations, going into the holidays, you name it. There are so many stressors and triggers going on. May not stress one person, but that's deep to you. So it is stressing you out. And that's the bottom line. Like what is your perceived perception? How do we combat it mentally before it takes the effect on our body. I mean, that's why I had to do the handstand because I can't cause live videos to have me, you know, developing more love handles. So just can't have that. So what can we do to combat stress? Breathing, breathing is good. Working out is good. Training our minds mentally, exchanging our worries for the Lord's peace. Um, Easier said than done, but it's a daily practice. And one of the ways that I'm going to conclude this is simply with being healthy and feeling good about yourself. You know, we need to have energy. We need to have energy to be able to combat stresses of life every day. We need to have mental clarity. And you're right. If you see where I'm going with this, you're right, because I am so passionate about it. But this is another reason why in the morning, or in the afternoon, or as part as my day, a workout and eating right is non-negotiable. Now I may fall off the wagon in certain situations with my eating and I choose to do that for balance and moderation. But on an 80% scale, if I'm not eating clean, I'm stressed. I'm stressed, I'm not taking care of my body and I'm not able to handle then all the triggers and stress coming at me. So we will talk about more situational stresses, things that are stressing you out that you don't realize. Um, But for today, I just wanna say one more time, if you haven't heard it before, that um, ketones, they absolutely, the ketones, they offer insulin-free energy that maximizes your mindset and mental focus while motivating you to move more, do more, be better. This is what we've learned about ketones. Um, Exogenous ketones also help maximize um, endogenous ketone production by the body, leading to improved biomarkers, including blood sugars, cholesterol, triglycerides, and blood pressure. So when we talked at the beginning of this video about blood pressure, about um, losing losing your, your breath, Um, Also remembering ketones provide more ATP, more oxygen for your brain, for your body. That's very important in combating stress. So if you haven't looked at um, the Facebook page of Prove It and you haven't seen the unbelievable testimonies going on, I encourage you head over there. It's important to get yourself equipped for the holidays. You need to have a game plan with food, 
I highly advise getting these ketones into your body to help deal with cravings, appetite suppression, energy, being able to handle the stresses that are coming into your life. And also, where is your time protection? What do you protect during the day that's a non-negotiable? What makes you feel like you're taking care of yourself? So for me, I got my max in, I've got my fat bomb, and I'm getting ready to go into a fasted boxing session at nine rounds. I'm excited to go hit it. Maybe you'll see a video of that someday when I get better and I don't look so awkward. All right, have a good day. We'll come back and talk about more stress.